Chase Edmonds is free! <laughs> Chase Edmonds was traded as part of the Bradley Chubb trade from Denver to Miami. In exchange, Edmonds goes to Denver, and this is the spot. This is a good spot for him. I, I mean, it couldn't be any worse than what's go what was going on in Miami. Chase Edmonds hadn't had 40% of snaps since week three. So... Yeah, 26, 14, 37, 29, 25% of snaps. It just seemed like his role continued to decrease. He was even running fewer routes. Running fewer routes. Like single-digit routes three of the last four weeks. And now he moves to Denver. Now, why is this Denver spot a really good one? Because Melvin Gordon, heck, was out carried by Latavius Murray this past week. There had been chatter the week of right before Javante Williams tore his ACL that Melvin Gordon was going to get cut that day because of the fumbling issues. But because of the torn ACL, Denver had put that off because they needed someone to step up. Mike Boone is on IR. And so they've signed Latavius Murray. They brought in Marlon Mack. And so the Denver Broncos have just been trying to fill this need, waiting for an opportunity to uh, get a running back who is effective in the pass catching game. And that's, uh, that is not as much Melvin Gordon. That fits Chase Edmonds. Okay. And so Chase Edmonds, I mean, looking at, uh, at what he had been doing, he's mostly a route runner, can catch passes. And that's the role that Melvin Gordon has been doing. Uh, the last two games, Melvin Gordon, 30 or 44 combined routes. And he's eight targets during that time, splitting snaps, splitting carries with Latavius Murray. Um, and I think this might mean the end of Melvin Gordon. I would not be surprised if in the next couple days, Melvin Gordon is cut from the Denver Broncos because they found their third down back. Latavius Murray is a capable first and second down grinder. And then Chase Edmonds as your long down and distance or third down back. So I think that Denver is solidifying their backfield in the light of all the injuries, Javante, Mike Boone, et cetera, and them wanting to move on from Melvin Gordon, frankly. So Chase Edmonds, yeah, he can walk after the 2022 season, but right now Denver is focused on reclaiming this year. Um, so yeah, I think that this means the beginning of the end for Melvin Gordon. We were already starting to see signs with Latavius Murray out carrying him this past week against Jacksonville. Now Melvin Gordon is very much on the hot seat. As I said, I wouldn't be surprised if he's cut here in the next couple of days. Chase Edmonds is uh, the third down back that Denver has wanted and he's paid a pretty penny. So they're going to use him in this trade um, yeah, so that's what my take is moving forward. And of course, you know, Jeff Wilson gets traded from the 49ers to fill in for the, the role that they had hoped Chase, uh, Chase Edmonds would fulfill, which, you know, is a change of pace, uh, splitting carries with Raheem Mostert. And I think Jeff Wilson fit, will fit that role pretty well. Uh, but now Chase Edmonds out of Miami and into the Denver Broncos uniform.